Hi, I'm Mike Beers, 1984 World Champion Team Roper. Been to the National Finals 24 times in the Team Roping, three times in the Cap Roping, and once in the Steer Roping. So today, I'd like to talk to you about roping the Hawks. And there's several things you can fix with the Hawks, but there's just, there's, I guess the, the, the angle of their swing and where they're looking. Everybody just kind of looks at the steer instead of That's why for years, I used to take a sawhorse and put a piece of black tape where the hawk is and make an X. And then Gila Mac come out with this dummy called the Hawks and it's got your target. So the, the five things that I teach at a school and I teach it on the dummy, for the, for the things that I teach, for the five things that I teach, you can actually do it on the Hawks. The first thing is your position. So when I'm talking about your position, where you're standing, everybody has a different concept. I mean, I've listened to a lot of different healers. They'll talk about they have the right foot forward. I have my left foot forward because I want to be in the left lead when I make the corner, hopefully. There's times when I'll be in the wrong lead. I'll be making the corner, <laughs> but I'd rather be in the left lead. If I'm in the left lead, my left foot's going to be forward. My right foot back, my right shoulder back, my left shoulder forward. So. That's the first thing I work on is my positioning. Where my position is on the steer, my right foot should be right directly behind the steer's left hind leg. Keelan, you have to be in position. Unless you're a junior, you can be out of position, but otherwise you need to be in position. The next thing is your swing. Where should your swing be? It should be over the steer's hips. The swing before I throw needs to be, the steer's hips are right about here. My swing should be over the steer's hips when I'm, when I'm swinging, okay? My target. What am I looking at? As I go down the arena, I'll watch the steer's right hip. As I go down the arena, I don't watch the head lip go on. I'll watch the right hip. As soon as the steer turns, take my eyes off the hip, go to the steer's hawk. That's my target. So my position, my swing, my target, and then my delivery. That's a, Some people get confused on that. But So my swing, I see a lot of guys swing over, oh, way over their shoulder here like this. And it's a miscommunication, I think. Because I, as I go down the arena, my theory is practice makes perfect if I practice perfect. So as I go down the arena, my swing, I get my swing up here, I'm actually pushing it up in the air, but it's actually going over my left shoulder, okay? Then as soon as I turn the corner, I want to bring my swing down over the hips, my hands close together, my target, steer's right hawk, my delivery, it's like I'm reaching down, I'm going to grab for that steer's right hawk with my hand. Then I turn my hand over. For years, I taught throwing my heel loop, like, like this right here, turn my hand this way. Because in my steel shot pictures, my hand was turned that way. I've already released the rope. So I want to hang on to my rope almost until it hits the steer's leg. Because I'm swinging over his back, position, swing, target. So, right, you come out of my swing right here, right there. I just have just enough angle in my swing. I don't want to tip down over here because if I tip it down over here, my left shoulder, my tip will hit and die right there. I want to bring my swing all the way through the legs every time. Right leg, left leg, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right there. What's nice about the Hawks is you can set it up anywhere. You can set it up on your trailer or you can set it up on the fence. Uh, and what's nice about them too is when you get ready to go home with them, just take them right here, pop the pin out, fold them up, put them right together, and you can go home. Put them in your trailer. Pretty simple.